underdog G. on this one as well. Let's see how the coin feels G. about it. Coin's been going for underdogs a lot here. Uh, yeah. how, how, yeah. I think we're going to count that as, yeah. as space stations. Uh, like space in the camera there. Like weird catch there, but they're going to be on. The, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> coin's trying to lose. Coin's trying to lose on this one. I mean, I, I wouldn't say the coin's trying to lose. SSG, they could get the job done, but you really have to play your best ball that you played all year. They're going to have to be efficient to every single bit of the T. Any bit of mistakes, and you're getting punished. We'll see what happens here, folks. 64% of you think that the Falcons got it. There's a clear favorite here, but SSG, they have forced upsets before. Can they do it again? We saved the best match of round one for the end here, folks. Strap in. Maybe we'll finally go to Champions Field. Mina versus North America. Falcons versus AJ SSG to close out round one. Two teams and one dream. Make it out of Swiss and see the crowd here at the Copper Box. The Falcons stole the hearts of everybody in Rocket League with a top eight finish in Copenhagen, but SSG, they have been so shorthanded in every performance we've seen, but finally we get them on land. Can they live up to the hype? Yeah, it wasn't too easy for SSG getting here. There was a quarterfinals appearance in the final open qualifier of the season in North America, but finally they made it through to land and once breaking their quarterfinal curse against G2 and Gen G. They can be a dangerous opponent. They've got players who are more than capable of taking the fight to Team Falcons, but this is not the start they that's, wanted. I assume Rust crazy. is going to score. No, but he's missed it. it. It's a fair assumption. It looked like it was going to go through, but you can't discount Space Station. Also, it is early stages. Falcons trying again, though. Here comes Ruas trying to go past Hawkser. And there so it is, space. the Hawkser defense. We were all waiting to see coming out in the early stages of game one. Yeah, I think he's going to have to do a lot more than that over the next few minutes, though. But here he comes down Whoa. forwards. Killers almost gets a, a, an open and an own goal there onto the post. It's a little bit shaky so far for Falcons. We had the Ruas miss, then the Killers almost open goal, or sorry, almost own goal. I can't speak. I'm, I'm shocked. This is all a bit odd, but a minute gone, no goals. It's not quite the start people, I think, would have expected from Falcons, but granted, Relax. when you've got your eyes on Space Station, this team has waited so long to finally have the opportunity to compete on land together. They fell okay, just that, short at Why Copenhagen. Everybody, like we heard Gibbs made mention to, had them in their top four, top three even. Pros all across NA felt like they deserved a chance to step up and prove themselves, and they finally earned that opportunity, and it seems to be going well. Last time around, Team Falcons only lost to Gentle Mates, who went on to win the entire thing, so Another extremely dangerous Swiss opponent with Hoxer makes another huge save. Dude, Ruas saves asks Hoxer again. So, so many awkward. saves. He's racking them up so far. Gets the team into a counter. Here's LJ. Almost gets the flip reset. In comes Ruas. So Space Station on the counter are showing some fangs, but so far it's Team Falcons that looks a little bit more likely to get this opening goal. Yeah, it's definitely just oh. been Falcons trying to hold SSG back for now, but they get the breakaway. Uh, it was LJ up on the front there. LJ, hey, just two minutes into this match, nobody has found their looking. way through any net. Scary. TRK from I'm the cool. ceiling tried to carry this one down. It's a great sense of pressure from oh, one it. to the other, but immediately SSG gets sent back mid. And Team Falcons, despite one or two unlikely mechanical errors for a team that have gone flawless this season, uh, are, are spreading out well. They're not looking overall by the occasion. They look like they're capable of taking this fight to Space Station Gaming uh, as expected. Space Station Gaming have been growing into this one. They're starting to get some time in the blue half. It's exactly what they would have wanted, and I think they'll be happy with how this game has started. I would be very happy if I was on Space Good Station right me. now. I think they look very in control of themselves, which is a good thing. You don't want this ball to get away from you and feel uncomfortable. Save, Great save there from Chicago. The pressure, ah, though, unlucky. is just That's too just much. <laughs> Killers forces this one through. Finally, Falcons get their goal. Chicago did all right. But his clearance wasn't quite good enough. No, while Hoxha got a okay. touch, like, it wasn't to be the block he needed. I Team Falcons, right. they have that yeah, goal. Yeah. Maybe that will settle their nerves because I'd say in the, in, the, in the macro they were playing okay, the micro, the decision making wasn't Ooh, quite there for them until that moment. Now suddenly Killers has the ball, he gets the challenge towards Ruas, it could be two early doors, and it is. Insane. This They're is the Falcons for, that everybody for, was expecting uh, to see in those first few minutes of this game one. A very quick and speedy and high pressure though. team uh. that just catches the defense off guard. And well, now you're if you're Space Station, you're down by two, you gotta find a way to kind of get back into the swing of things. 
Yeah, I'd say that Hoxer is the player they'll be looking to, but not if he no concedes a third from the kickoff. What's it's suddenly on? a disaster from Space Station. This is not what you want. It was just Hoxer's positioning on that one was a little off, and it made Chicago just too late. And unfortunately, it just extends that lead continuously. Now 3-0, less than two minutes to go. Well, we do have the, the twins on Team Falcons. All of them incredible 1v1 players as well for this team, so no surprise that kickoffs they have locked down. And right, this 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 may well be the quickest four goals after no goals I think I've ever seen. This is what OG thought they were gonna do in those last 16 <laughs> seconds. Yeah, that's what they were talking <laughs> themselves through after the tech wars, yeah. It wasn't quite to be for them, but Team Falcons, I mean, wow, that's how you continue momentum. Yeah, you you they command it. I, I feel like they've been doing this since Copenhagen. It's very obvious that this team, once they figure someone out, they find a way to make someone slightly uncomfortable in positioning. They just continue on with it. This one from the oh backboard down. It's just another pass, a floater from the crossbar, and killers just to finish it I and keep saying. it going. Five. Oh, could we awkward. see a person? I, I mean, we might see more than that at this point because I mean, there, there was one demo from Morass as he was rotating out in space. Station. Station, everything fell apart from them in that moment. There this was no answer to that Team Falcon's decision making. And yeah, it's five. This one's Let's dead. I think if I'm Space Station, I'm trying to think of taking some momentum into game two, get something going, but it's proving impossible. They can't even touch the ball at the moment, Hercules. No, it, they've no, made Space Station so far away from this ball. This is the most we've seen. It's an attempt to pass from one to the other all the way to the end of the field. Here comes LJ with a shot, and that's the player that really most people's eyes are on to try and take control of this ball. game. But the longest clear on Earth doesn't find its way in, but a minute left. Might be too much. Yeah, I was just thinking, is that going to be six? Is that going all the <laughs> way in? But nah, Space Station Gaming had it covered. Far be it from me to question their defending. I think the biggest issue that they've shown is that kickoffs is something that Vulcans are no miles ahead of them at. But also momentum play. Team Vulcans, as you mentioned, once they do get that bit between their teeth, they just don't stop. The shooting was, you know, I'd say the warning signs were there at the start of this game, but I'm just, I'm just confused what this has turned into. It didn't start like this. No, it didn't. And I think one of the biggest really differences didn't. that I've noticed from the first half of this game to this last minute or so is Space Station's third man is very close up to that midfield line. I think Falcons have taken notice and they know that sending two people up, forcing that 50 and winning it, these what are easy centers to just keep taking shots for themselves. What There's the that? other center. This one goes nah, through. It's it exactly is. what I said. It's just outpacing Space Station out and teeing mind. each other up for one goal after the other. It's, it's tiny bumps as well. I feel like Space Station just seems to be going, either by, by coincidence or by design, completely on Falcon's rotation lines. And that's just taking the defender out of the game enough for Falcons to get something else. It's kind of embarrassing. 7-0, and I feel like I've barely even blinked. I feel like I've barely even taken stock of the situation of this game. It could be 8. It will be 8. It won't be 8, not quite. But just, what? This is a complete collapse. Really? Yeah. My brain's still catching just, up with what I'm seeing here. It, it's a tough thing to process if you're an SSG fan, especially because you know that they, there's so much more no that could come from them than what we're seeing right now. I know that this is not what they wanted, you know, to put out onto the field. I hope game not. I hope, this is I hope this isn't it. Not I mean, part of the plan. <laughs> there's there's a lot of time left in the series to come back, but I do got to give the credit. huge build up to game this two. moment. Pressure could a... also just be a bit much Eight right now. You got to kind of. Get back Overbuck. into the swing of things. I feel like I think the last time we saw these Space Station players was at the last World Championship, and I, it was a top eight placement, I believe. So it's been a while, and it's fair to say, you know what? Game refresh, game number two. It could be a new dawn, new day. All right, we'll give them one. I mean, I'm not quite sure I buy that, considering you know they're, they're all experienced. I'm trying to give I, I think, yeah, a, li a little bit of uh, a little bit of an there uh, for Space Station Gaming. I think they should be a little bit disappointed with that first game, losing by seven, but game. Game two has started off with Team Falcons in the ascendancy yet again. No, TLK wants to get involved into this one. Killers in just get around face. this ball. And my big question is, are Space Station Gaming able to get the ball away from their goal? No, because as soon as there was a 50-50 or a challenge, it just seemed that Falcons could manipulate okay, where it went. Yeah. And they'd score from it pretty much every time as double flip resets are coming in now. I think right now SSG has to be, and I'm sure that they are, extremely aware of how mechanical every individual player on the Falcons are. And I think on the opposing end, a lot of people tend to just say LJ is that extremely mechanical player. It feels like it's like a 1v3 in this situation almost. 
but Chicago and Hawks are extremely talented and ones in their respective rights as well. But I feel like it could be a case of almost like coming down to these 1v1 challenges where Team Falcons just beat out SSG every time. I don't mind this at all as well. Space Station Gaming are uh, not trying to outdo Team Falcons for pace. They're not letting their egos play the game the right now. They're, they're no. consciously just slow things down. I feel Rawaslo, if he beats Chicago here, suddenly Falcons could be in on the counter. Chicago's in. Can he get the pass towards Hoxha? No, it's wrong. Now it's 2v1. TRK over the top of Hoxha. This could be a continuation of the disaster of game one for Falcons. Yep. If they can finish it here, it's a great touch defensively. I mean, even before the goals last time, Hoxha was getting triple saves, so he is key, I'd say, for Space Station. I absolutely agree. We heard Gibbs made mention on the desk. Hoxer has the capability to make these miracle plays that impact what this team so much. But same can be said oh for Killers. God. From game one what to game two, he just continues to find his way into what the SSG catch. side. Oh, look at that, the flip reset, reset just and just the control that he shows there easy. from almost a floating standing yeah, start, man. barely any momentum, and still able up. to send that ball into the top corner it's brilliant there from killers they he just looks so confident and oh, at ease Falcons almost a, there it almost feels like there are no nerves right now for the Falcons yeah, where on the likes of SSG there is a lot of pressure to perform and because you've had yourselves hyped up for so long and you finally made it it, it is a little bit rougher in the sense but right now finding any sort of space to make a play is what you want and Falcons aren't allowing that Killers is going to send this one to the side where TRK you know is what? waiting. Still gets a score, TRK. Might change here. He gets round it. It's almost there. It's off the post. Chicago has to stay well, alive. He does. They stay alive. Space Station Gaming have avoided doing what happened in game one, which is conceding one. They're conceding immediately they from the kickoff. Now they're yet again they're in a game. Pressure and they win it this back. Is very intense seeing two Look. Falcons players go up and try and almost harass that last man on defense. But it's a great break up here from LJ up over to Hawks or to the backboard. It's double tap opportunity, oh. but it's down on the goal line save from Killers. A sign potentially of things to come though for Space Station Gaming. Killers has no boost. Still beats his opponents the ball. Chicago's been lingering. It's good play. TRK up against Hoxha. Hoxha gets the dunk. In comes LJ. That's Space the, Station at very close. This is pressure, who Falcons. you want to see scoring if possible. But even better than same that pressure. is the sheer amount of teamwork that it took to get this ball not only towards it. the net, but up. into it. Finally, Space Station onto the board, tie things up, looking a lot better than they did in game one. Yeah, Team Falcon, it's not impenetrable, but you have to put in so much work to get even a shooting chance against them, let alone a goal. That indeed has happened. Hoxha sends it long, follows it too, to the ceiling. Hoping Ross will make a mistake here. Rowaslo knew exactly what TRK wanted. So the ball to fall to him. Demo comes in from Hoxha on TRK. Rowas gets away with it again. Suddenly it seems like Team Falcon's the one that are a little bit low on boost. The Space Station are starting to dictate. Space Station are looking a lot quicker in rotations to getting to this ball. TRK tried to 50 this one forward. And LJ and Chicago were back on it. And there it is. Hawks are immediately back yeah, up and over to Chicago. And that's what you want to see. Yeah. So much quicker with the connections on this ball, forcing Falcons to be a little bit slower and methodical. Hawks is LJ? getting a lot of time. Man, what up. Up. The pass is good. What so is play. the second one. LJ scores. I love what this play, play because this is very reminiscent what of what pass. we saw before, which is the back and forth play style between each other to get bobbing and weaving through the defense. They realized the 1v1s were not working. Right now, unfortunately, Space Station can't win a 1v1 on the Falcons, but they can win a 2v1. Yeah, they can. The passing play seems to be key for Space Station Gaming. Having the bravery to play in front of the ball as well. Hoxha, potentially the key, but here comes Ruas down the other side. Still a minute remaining. Space Station Gaming ain't won nothing yet. See, okay, sends that one back to the center, leaves it for Killers. Chicago on the side wall, LJ just chasing Ruas, trying to block him as much as possible. He and TRK combined to just smush that ball to the side. One more for Space Station would be lovely, and these bumps are important. Yeah, these bumps are actually very impactful as far as the Falcons are concerned in slowing Space Station down and trying to recreate opportunity. But Space Station has the same idea. The bumps are coming through. 30 seconds left to go. Can Falcons tie things up? Balls loose in the center. It's one there by Chicago. Excellent pace. From the experienced man on the Space Station gaming team. Ruas has TRK in front of him. TRK is trying to bully oh, LJ. Yeah. LJ wriggles out of that one, sends it forwards again. 10 now. 
Team Falcons have to score now, or they can see this second game. Ruas, he beats him. TRK's almost there. TRK's waiting in front. He's chasing, chasing. down the defender. No Killer's way. over the top. LJ holds his nerve. Yo. LJ makes his statement. Space LJ. Station Gaming have almost taken game two. Now they have their right back. Five, six, seven goals, if they possibly can. Although, of course, that's not always manageable for them. Um, but maybe that the balance will be a, a, a tad different because they did let gaps behind them there that Space Station Gaming expertly utilized for the record. Uh, but it does lead to a very intriguing game three. Well, game number three has officially commenced and it starts out with a demo and an air dribble Ooh. through from none other than LJ. Yes, the one that everyone was waiting to wake up on offense. He is officially yeah, here. Oh, Hawks, that is lovely. Reminiscent of Killer's goal in the last goal. game, just pushing it upwards into that top right corner. And suddenly it's Space Station Gaming that are making all the statements. What a start from them in game three. That is a great start for SSG. Can they turn this into two? It's a slow play from Hawks there. Tried to get the ground 50. This one goes out in a pinch. Let's Falcons take their transition. It's crazy because watching game one, you feel like that game could have lasted half an hour and Space Station Gaming wouldn't have even made a dent. And then now, a couple of games later, suddenly they are looking like the superior team. But no. Team Falcons have managed no. to build themselves back up. There's almost yeah, a boost seal there for the Killers. The he might not even need it. Gets it over the goal line. So it was alert. And LJ's just waiting. Trying to get himself involved again as Hoxha goes to the backboard. Ruas takes boost. it away. It's down to the more nitty gritty of the game, which Team Falcons will like. They'll like these challenges, these 50s. They'll feel that's a gameplay they can be superior in. Yeah. Uh, in yeah and he back. gets it. I was going to say, you, you talk <laughs> about how the Falcons want to almost be challenged. It kind of forces them to step up and be a little bit more aggressive because there you have it again. It was TRK all over the field. He goes for one demo on the left side, then swaps into the center, says, I'll get the bump. Everybody, your one goal is keep that ball moving forward. And the plan worked out great. Now he's going to try and get one of his own. Tries to go low on LJ. This one not quite through, and it remains a tied game. I feel like Team Falcon certainly seem to have some of the fastest comms what in the game. What a shot! A second because LJ oh is continuing my his one man mission against Team Falcons. Oh, man. I've been waiting for this player to wake up. I wanted to see LJ on land. The Jeez. musty through as well to get the power the on that one. Almost 100 spec. kilometers per hour on it, too. Space Station, they put themselves in a lead once again, no longer struggling to find responses. It's a target now on the right side. And we'll go off the Space Station, LJ which is giving him a little bit more comfort. Boost. LJ takes another touch. We've seen some supreme performances today, first from Yan earlier on, and now from LJ with uh, with Ruas and, T and Killers in the, in the middle of it as well. Individuals are stepping up today. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you want to talk crazy individual performances, you got to even shout out players like Banana Head earlier in the day as well with OCE for sure. taking a win there. It is a crazy time for change right now. Here comes through us, a man more than capable, but Hawks have brought it forward to Chicago, who can't quite get his shot on target. Killers had to avoid Chicago. Now Hawks has control of the situation, has the flip he reset, does he? He leaves it to Chicago again, so the comms remain high from Space Station Gaming. Here is LJ, a full tank of boost. This is danger right now for Team Falcons. This time he just spoons it above the Team Falcons goal. He's trying to get some bumps through, so Space Station Gaming are refusing to be bullied. Getting some nudges and demos of their own now. Yeah, they are looking so much more confident in what they are doing as far as challenging is concerned. They don't look uncomfortable by any means. Even with this transition coming from the Falcons, they're prepared defensively. Chicago, great touch there. TRK up next, and the backboard covered not by one, but by two. They're teaming up Space Station Gaming. Oh, he's backing up their buddies. Here's Hoxha to the ceiling, though. He wants to go solo. Killers is up for that. TRK might beat Chicago here. He just lets Chicago miss, in fact. Killers chain dashing his way to try and get behind Ruas. Ruas is the man that takes control of the ball. It's Killers wanting to keep Team Falcons as this, on this unbeaten streak that they've had since Copenhagen. There's TRK. There's a double fake there, but Chicago Ooh, just nips the ball away. And all of these smart the plays from Team Falcons, they're not quite falling for them. The last touch isn't there time after time. That might change now, but it's blocked by Chicago. He is causing so much kerfuffle for Team Falcons defense right now. Beautiful word. There, yeah, there's a lot of kerfuffle, but there's also a lot of patience. And I feel like that is where Space Station are thriving against the Falcons right now. You may mention Falcons are trying to come up with these like tricks and plays to throw SSG off. And SSG is just saying, if you wait a few moments, 
Yeah, this will land Smash into him. us, and then that transition out will be so much easier. And that's what we've seen time and time again. It's like they let them tucker themselves out in that first game. And now they're reaping the rewards. But Team Falcon's still dangerous. Killers mm. tees up with his teammate. Let's go to Ruas to the backboard. Beautiful control from him. Leaves it this side for TRK. The shot's there. It's almost good. Yeah, LJ yeah, yeah. not yeah, just yeah. gets the save, also sends it forward. There you go! So oh work. my that god! Is gorgeous from LJ. Big this is such a great play big for brain. a number of reasons. Oh, it's not just the play. fact that LJ Chicago set up do. Chicago, but that pass that. to force killers down to that zero boost, knowing that goal amazing. became wide Not open, good. and it was just a comfortable shot. Space Station go up by two. Space Station Gaming looking so much more now, like their online cells, but Falcons come back. Killers has a chance. Yo, Killers puts them back in it. This game ain't over. This is not over yet. Just CRK, under a minute yo. to go. Falcons Who respond just Ross? moments after hit? getting scored on, forcing Space Station to that was, stay uh, in luck. I mean, it's in game one, about six Ross. kickoff goals in a row. Can Team Falcons dig just one more out? It's a default yeah, kickoff that's lost on purpose by Space Station towards LJ. Ooh, Ruas reads it. TRK goes forward. He gets a demo as well. Chicago has to get this read oh, and does. Ruas heads back. Relax. Chicago Relax. uses all of his boost just to send it back to the blue heart. One more chance. You sense it's coming up soon. Ruas Relax. at the edge. will bump attempt. Instead, it's going to be a double tap. So much in his locker. Falls to killers. Team Falcons keep coming. Extremely low boost, though, for Good Team job. Falcons. Hawks and Hawks are taking note of that. Even on low of his own, tries to make that transition out. Immediately sent back AJ LJ there to collect. And with 30 seconds left to go, Killers from the air, TRK really trying really to match him, but like right the now the so Falcons, they seem to just be playing play. catch up, trying to match the pace okay. of SSG. It's shot opportunity Ooh, denied, and SSG hold on to their one goal lead. There was one Ooh, imperfect touch from Ruas, and Space Station Ooh, almost got the two goal lead back. Just waiting for a key mistake, a key error. Might oh not happen God. in the attack though for Falcons, but Hoxha, he gets it away. One second now, Ruas, what he dunks it forwards. Killers is there, no, gonna no, get the touch. The no, he can't. He's Oh, yeah. TRK was arriving. It was read by Space Station. Since those first couple of games, they've all gone a little bit flat. Yeah, I, honestly, as much point. as people probably are, are looking to killers to, you it's know, like re-step seven, up like we saw yeah, in so games one and two, now. right there, that shot is from the player I want to see, TRK. He's been extremely quiet, a little bit more passive oh, than I think nice. his teammates would have liked or are hoping for. I think him getting in on the action could make this team a much more threatening roster in this game four. He's up? watching this one. Okay, he goes to the ceiling above the backboard, almost there. Ruas follows up. Killers just has to wait and go back again. It was mm. almost perfect timing from him there. This time it's Killers. TRK okay in the center. Killers gets the touch towards the center. So it pushes it sideways. Team Falcons have certainly started game four better. Maybe refresh themselves mentally. The bump oh. is good, and it's forced in by TRK. Okay. No, Look, it's the one that I said. He, he really and truly needs to step up and get in on the action. That's exactly what he did. But that bump from Ruas just allowing it to waterfall down. But again, TRK, he cheated up pushed it forward and through, and Falcons take a lead. I think Ruas actually got a wave dash on the side wall after hitting the ball as well. <laughs> that just that even right even more middle. power. Like Sonic the Hedgehog gearing something up and just going a, a million miles per hour. It's beautiful. And here is Ruas yet again. This time, let's take things slightly more the slow way. Manages to keep his flip and sends it forward. So, okay, we'll get that one back towards Killers. Volker's looking better again, but Space Station what Gaming have been so dangerous on the counter. There's another one to add to the tally. I gotta give huge props to Hawkster for that setup. I think they knew they wanted to do these big, long interception clears, and Hawkster put himself in such a great position yeah. to get that ball handed to him and slotted through Space Station. Tie up game four. 1-1, one, one, early doors. The game continues to improve. Hawkster sends that one long. Ruas sets up, almost sets up TRK, looking for a second, but TRK the pulled away, didn't like the idea. Ruas clears it long. Team Falcons would love to just get that ball back in Orange territory for a while. It's, it's been too long as far as they're concerned since they've had sustained pressure. And a big part of it is because of now, how Ruas quickly Space Station Gaming are clearing the ball away, but that's a poor Ruas touch. Is definitely and it's killers the scores. I mean, I yeah, it is a poor touch, but it also, it was a forced poor touch. I think Chicago could have been a little bit more powerful with it and forcing that ball through. Obviously, it, it goes in and Falcons take the lead, but now Space Station looking a little uncomfy on defense and that's not what you want. They've not been shaken by a Falcons goal for a few games now, though Space Station gaming. Every time they've had one go against them, they've stepped right back up and equalized. 
Comes Hoxha trying to keep up that trend. Up against TRK, Chicago in the corner. Yes. Chicago almost gets his towards LJ. That's dangerous. It's risky from yes. Chicago. I like the way Space Station are playing, oh. though, keeping up that confidence. The shot comes in from LJ. It's saved to the corner. Hox is in the center. Oh, Killers has to try and float me. towards the ball and manages it at least for now. Hoxha almost over the top of Killers. This no. is a good period of play for Space Station Gaming. Looking again, more like themselves after conceding. But Team Vulcans now playing on the counter themselves almost get their own opportunity. Really big clear here, too. LJ trying to follow it from the ceiling down. Chicago had shot opportunity, but he got taken away. But Hoxha is going to keep it going. Again, ceiling down, pass denied. Falcons starting to pick up on the patterns of what Space Station was doing to get around them, and now transition through to an almost was, open bro. net. Ruas so easy, to bro. extend the lead. You don't always need to go for the flip reset. Sometimes it's that final little touch when you're stretching your car that just prods it over the opposition. And if you're as accurate and speedy as Ruas is, it's going to be enough. Team Falcons back 3-1 up. You got just over half the match left to go. It's a big flick here from Chicago, but TRK manages to still keep this one out. And the Falcons re-find their momentum here. It's a <laughs> big clear upfield into that net, and TRK stepping up and showing out. Falcons up 4-1. I mean, it's a nice goal there from Team Falcons. The pass was, uh, oh, or the, yeah, it wasn't a pass in the end. We must let it go in, but the, the play was nice, but I'm going to turn my attention yet again to Space Station Gaming because I'm beginning to notice, as I'm sure we all are, a bit of a trend that when Space Station truly lose momentum yeah, in a game, it's too early, man. it really gets away from them quickly. They have to arrest that slide right now. We do not want, going into game five, another 7-1, uh, you know, an 8-1, something ridiculous. And it's looking like it might become that. That save from Hoxha, right. even though they're 4-1 down, could be a big one. They have to keep tool, though, here. Hoxha to the side yet again, doing more great defensive work. Chicago has to get this ball away. They're totally starved, Space Station Gaming. Team Falcons going for the kill. Killers just waiting for that ball. Hoping the challenge will be good enough to get it over the goal line. The Space Station Gaming have slowed things down, but yeah, they've definitely got to work on that. Yeah, this is probably the most they've had room to breathe, and that is definitely going to be a sigh of relief as Chicago puts this one through. He just follows it from one end to the other. Of course, that attempt on a bump there was really, really massive. I don't know yeah. if he made complete connection with Kaleers on it, but Space Station closing the gap, but I love what you said about that SSG. One of their faults is that it is so difficult for them to refine momentum once it's lost, and I feel like that is Ooh. where Falcons thrive. They are able to refine it so many times and just keep going. Yeah, they, they never quit, so, Team Falcons. Yeah. They never give up. They never change their play style, for better or for worse. So Killers wants to get that one towards his teammate. Here comes Elgin on the counter. He's got Ruas in front of him. It's over the top of Ruas, but no one's there. Ruas somehow recovered. Got the read from directly beneath the ball, the hardest place to make the save of all. And here he comes again, still got boost. He seems to never be below 20, Ruas. Wave dashing away from that one, trying to chase down Chicago, who just managed to beat into the punch on that occasion. TRK comes in, Ruas has been picking up pads meanwhile. Space Station Gaming still 60 seconds, Chicago's chasing down Ruas. SSG have a chance still. Yeah, hope isn't gone for them, not quite yet. 54 seconds is a lot more than 17, so there's Definitely still a chance on this one, but you got to get out of your own half. You're air dribbling it low if you're LJ and a pincher on the corner could give you some signs of life. It's a double tap centered over to Chicago. This one to the backboard could be red here, but it goes from one oh, end gosh. to the other. SSG trying to create opportunities desperately as they continue oh. to get taken away. So close there, Ruas. First he fakes his first touch, then he fakes his flip reset. Could have been a special little goal from him there, but still, Team Falcons have to remain resolute defensively. LJ to the ceiling. Fox is coming in. It's now or never for them. Chicago up against another defender. It's just going to fall to Killers, who should be able to steal enough seconds from this clock to give Team Falcons the game. No, suddenly Hawks out of chance. Chicago has to sink this, oh. and he doesn't. And finally, we're heck? done. Couple of posters, couple of chances. Didn't matter anyway. Four game Team Falcons. Seven. Oh, man. Challenge for Space right, Station five. to try I've and been defend. Game seven well, the this last. is what we wanted game between these two great game teams. Seven. Champions it's really Field five, opens so its doors Champions to Field, Falcons and Space Station, Space Station Gaming. Station it's been a series that swung ball. wildly from end to end. Which version of these two are we going to see over the next five minutes. It's good so far from Falcons. Space Station Gaming, a nice 100. touch on the save. This one Don't could go it. either way. Who's going to put uh, a point on the board first? This one, an attempt to clear out to mid, gets stopped and sent back by Killers. 
This one left for TRK to take a shot. It's oh, LJ oh, with the oh, save. Oh. Dangerously close, more than he would have hoped, and Falcons keep the pressure on. The last time these two played in London, it went all the way to game That's seven. Space Get Station Gaming attempting the reverse sweep, and they couldn't quite get it. Falcons winning that game seven. There you go. Come and now on. here we are, history almost Take repeating it. itself. Oh, it wasn't quite a reverse it. sweep, but it seemed like it would have to be after that first game. It was so dominant for Falcons. And here they find themselves on the cusp of another long, tough series. They can just reach out and claim it. Space Station yeah. Gaming, LJ oh, wow. against Killers. Killers chain dashes his way around the corner, gets too much from the ball, unfortunately. I mean, that's TRK is a little bit low boost here from Falcons, but that one will spawn well. He gets demo, but I'm sure he'll take that, teeing up his teammate. It's well cleared again from Space Station right, Gaming. Do it. Very away. Huge amounts of pressure early doors here. Lots of pressure indeed, and the fact that it has been consistent from SSG is a great sign. Hawks are from the ceiling. Oh, trying pass. to center this one down oh. over to LJ, but it's a great read there from, I believe, it right. was TRK, Play. and the clear comes Go. through. Falcons once again on transition. Killers is just waiting for this clearance. Chicago got an awkward touch on his own back wall there, which left him in a bit of a no man's land. And from that play, Team Falcons are still continuing to hammer right down the door. There. Just look at the pace of them. Still, they come forward. Chicago waits a second. You can't afford That's to do that against crazy. Team Falcons. There's one. It's Killers. You take, you give, and well, Falcons claim all at Ooh. this point. Oh my goodness, the pure patience. And then allowing this one to be left. Killers just floating this one through. 1-0 for Falcons. And it's been a dream start here in game five for Team Falcons. Space Station gaming. Have to step themselves right back up. All eyes turn towards LJ. Is he able to conjure up just a little bit more magic from that bag of tricks? Not yet. First Space Station gaming will need the ball. His killers. Again, trying to race around that corner, but LJ was alert to it. And now he has a chance. 36 boost. Hawks are in the center. Wants to get it towards his teammate. Ruas just no, intercepts the two of them, teeing up killers who can't quite get around Chicago. And that's what I got to commend Falcons on, is how patient they've been on that back third, waiting for SSG to work together to get past them defensively. It's the patient game that is really paying off here. Half the game left to go officially. Could this be a second lead? No, not quite. It's another save from Chicago and the clear from Hawkser. Team Falcons who have been all the way to a grand final here in London, here in the Copper Box. It's going to be the start of a new long journey. They can just continue to see things through against Space Station Gaming, but Space Station Gaming have yet again stepped up after conceding. Yeah, Normally conceding that. one, they're okay. Once it's a couple, they'll collapse oh, to avoid that happening. Chicago to the side, Killers just yet again waiting. That. Never a, a missing amount of patience for Team Falcons in their attack. TRK into the center, Ruas has a chance, and Chicago can't Chicago quite save it, lost. it's two. Well, this girl. one, I, I had a feeling it was coming, and it was namely because Hawkster went up for like, that challenge doing? on an extremely next to nothing inward. boost, which in turn forced oh, Chicago into God. a very awkward situation. Falcons saw it, took advantage, and they go up to up. Space Station Gaming, a key period in this game and in this series. We've seen it before so far. Two turns to three, then four. They cannot allow that to happen on this occasion. Chicago's beaten by TRK. The ball is loose. Who's going to win the race to it? Who's going to be first to dare go to it? It is Chicago rotating back. LJ gets a, a bite of the ball on the way, and Chicago has a chance now to do something with it. Hoxer going for a bump. What's going to happen? It's going to fall to LJ. Is anyone in the center there for him? Who wants this ball? Who's demanding it? It's Hoxer, it's over him. Chicago a chance to shoot. Needs a bump to help him. No, he doesn't. He Good follows job, it up himself. Space Good Station shows signs of light. Patience play pays off. You saw it. It was Hoxer that almost delayed what? everything what? just a bit. And then it Good gave shot. Chicago all the time in the Come world to decide where he wanted to place that ball. And it was just through the defense. Space Station now with just a one goal deficit have time so to try and tie things up on champ field. Fake kickoff was nice. Chicago such not ideal though. And Team Falcons, they turn it around yeah, so cool. quickly. Doing, just oh, the, the oh, in time push. caster curse. The, the, the chance to turn things around yeah, while yeah, in turn boost. Falcons take things back and extend it. Reminiscent of game four, reminiscent of time, game three. They geez. look yeah, so they clean and confident and off the kickoff and attempt to do it again. Yeah, another fake kickoff there. This time doesn't fall quite as cleanly for Space Station Gaming. And again, they could be countered by it. In comes Killers. TRK is refusing to leave the play. He's yeah, bumped out of the way by LJ in the end. Get out of here, he says. Chicago into the center for LJ. Chicago desperate for some boost. 
He's made one or two errors so far in the last couple of minutes, and it looks like he is keen to make up for those. He wants this ball, but it's been cleared long again. LJ has to go to his own backboard. Oh Can't read God. the psycho either. Pulls to Hoxha. One more chance for Hoxha, maybe. Chicago's clearing a path. Can Hoxha get over the top? No, not on this occasion. 35 left. 34 seconds, a clear attempt to the backboard. Oh, a missed. shot taken and missed. As you say, the Falcons just continue to remain tried, true, and strong on defense. LJ up next, another touch to try and leave it back, but Killers and Ruas working in tandem to keep this ball consistently out of their side. Falcons protecting what they have. Here's Chicago, pinching it to the back wall, but it's won by Ruas, and that may well be the moment. Hox is running out of time. LJ gets a beautiful touch though, Ruas has to stay alert all the way to the last, but it is going to be enough. A marathon game five ends almost with a flourish. It does not matter as Falcons take the victory. The team that everyone almost discredited to a fault.